Hello and welcome to the bonus video. My name is Tom and you're watching my small hobby YouTube channel. So in keeping with the theme with the cannons and German cannons, this time we're taking a look at this Flak 43 from Trumpeter in a 135 scale. It's really a very lovely model kit, um, a very small model kit, uh, with what's 110 millimeters in length and 70.8 millimeters in width. It has around 130, yeah, 130 pieces and it doesn't really cost a lot of money, around 20 to 24 euros depending on where you live. And also like all the trumpeter kits so far, it also has some photo edge parts and some decals. Before we go on with this review video, if you like the content that I make and you would like to support me and help me out, you can subscribe, like, share and comment on this video and you'll be helping me out a bunch. If you want to see another review video, you can click up here. And if you want to see a build video, go check out the video that was released before this video. <laughs> You'll see why. Okay, so Flak 43, what's it all about? The Flak 43 was a Ryan Mattel design. It featured a brand new gas powered breech mechanism and numerous speed changes to its manufacturing process. It did continue to use the existing ammunition and the barrel basically stayed the same as Flak 18, 36 and 37. The aforementioned speed modification to the manufacturing process of this Flak 43 meant that it only took 1000 man hours to assemble this one as opposed to 4320 man hours so that's quite a big reduction in the labor and man hour cost to assemble one of these flags. Also, rate of fire and elevation speed was increased, making the Flag 43 a great improvement of the previous guns. Now let's uh, jump into the box and see what's what. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Trumpeter 135th scale model review of a Flag 43. It has around 130 parts in five sprues. The total length of the model is 110 millimeters with a width of 70.8 millimeters. The price is around 20 to 24 euros depending on where you live and it has some photo edge parts as well as decals, an instruction sheet manual and of course a paint scheme separate from the instruction sheet in full color for your viewing pleasure and better understanding of what the thing looked like. Here we'll see the breakdown of all the screws that contain all the necessary parts to assemble the model. Despite it having 130 plus parts and some photo edge, I don't think it's a very difficult model to assemble, so I could recommend this one to a beginner as well. Upon closer examination, we see the parts in their true glory. There is hardly anything wrong that I could immediately point out. There's a couple of flash points on these bigger pieces, but nothing really that mind-boggling or too terrible. And according to Scalemates, it's a 2010 release, so it's really not that bad for an 11-year-old kit, almost 12. So it's really hard to actually make out exactly what you're looking at if you don't know the gun by heart, but you will no doubtably recognize some of the pieces like the bullets and the drive and the sprockets and the shields, the wheels, the fenders, you get it. Um, bits and bobs here and there, but as you can see, they are clean, cool, plastic is nice and soft. It's basically almost like Tamiya type plastic and I think that it would be a very enjoyable build. The attachment points are fairly decent. They could be a little bit better. That means that you will have to be a little bit more careful with the smaller pieces and the round pieces when you cut them out from their bedding. Here we see the base on which the whole gun sits and uh, some bits and bobs that go around. These are the photo edge parts that come with the kit and also some decals which are really small and I had a little trouble focusing and with the lighting. But basically we have some tanks, guns, airplanes. I think that these are the decals that you put on the flak cannon to, to signify what type of targets they had. And the last we have the all important manual, a black and white A4 type manual with six pages. It has all the necessary instructions to guide you through the build process. The build process is a little bit condensed on certain pages, but it's right to the point and easy to read, so I don't think you'll have a problem. That's it. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have been, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. I'll see you back soon in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.